Good day, everyone. My name is Matthew Alberto, secondary education major in English student of Navotas Polytechnic College. And I'm here to discuss the concept of positive reinforcement. And I will show you how it is used in the classroom. Berhus Frederick Skinner, an American psychologist, was the first to use positive reinforcement. He described it as the act of presenting a stimulus reliant on the behavior that causes that action to occur more frequently in the future. Positive reinforcement is a behavior management technique used in education that emphasizes praising pupils for their efforts. It varies from positive punishment in that it places more an emphasis on praising pupils for their achievements and good behavior rather than punishing them for misbehaving. In addition, positive reinforcement in operant conditioning seeks to improve desired behavior by introducing a favorable stimulus shortly after the behavior happens. Someone's being rewarded for their actions and the awards motivate them to carry out the action once more. A motivating stimulus serves as the reinforcement. So to understand more about the concept of good morning positive reinforcement, Today, I will show I will you how it is used about in the, the different animals in the world. But before I start, I want to ask you some of the questions relevant to our topic. The first one is, what is the largest or biggest animal in the world? Marcus, you are raising here. The biggest animal in the world is blue whale. Very good. The largest animal in the world is the blue whale. Marcus, because you provided the correct answer, you deserve a good job sticker. The next question is, what is the fastest land animal in the world? Marcus, again, you are raising your hand. The fastest animal in the world is antelope. Mm -hmm. The antelope is one of the fastest land animals in the world, but not the fastest. We need your help to answer this question. Kilian, you are raising your hand. The fastest land animal in the world is the cheetah. Very good. The fastest land animal in the world is the cheetah. Both of you deserve a good job sticker. Thank you, Kilian, for helping Marcus provide the correct answer. The same goes for you, Marcus. You give it all you've got. To answer the question the best you can. Good job. In the representation, the teacher showed how to use positive reinforcement with two students. He gave Marcus a sticker to praise him for providing the correct answer. And then he gives both of them sticker because Killian helped Marcus to know the correct answer. The teacher also gave Marcus a compliment even if his answer was wrong so as not to discourage the child from answering more next time. Instead of saying it was wrong, he just said that he was one of the examples. It was one of the examples of animals but he needed help to get the answer more correct. So he was given a sticker because he dared to answer the question and gave his all to answer the question. The significance of implementing positive reinforcement is that it helps pupils actively enjoy attending class and learning. Teacher and students both exhibit increased enthusiasm when this is used in the classroom. Also, it's enabled the class to celebrate success together. So that's it. This is the end of my video. Thanks for watching and I hope 
you learned something from me about positive reinforcement. So see you in the next video. Bye.